just a quick little video for Smudge on OUR um, in regards to his um, magnetic research into generators and that. What we have here is it's just a universal motor out of a washing machine and all we're doing with this setup here um, is using one of these coils. Now, it used to be a um, series connected motor of course these would be electromagnets normally but we've disconnected these coils there's only one of these coils in the top side of this motor um, and now all it's relying on is the electromagnet that's um, formed in the rotor to be pulled towards each section of the um, housing of our um, coil former which is laminated steel so it's just magnetic attraction to the um, coil formers um, and that is what's happening here and we're using the coil that's left in there now as our generator so on here I have two diodes you can see one is one way one is the other that is so we can draw power from each half of the AC waveform we get off there um, and it is quite a uh, bigger offset on the waveform it's not an even waveform it's high voltage one side and low voltage the other I have a 10 ohm resistor down here and both the grounds are on one side of the coil on the scope and the blue channel is across the resistor and the yellow channel is across the coil itself so what I wanted to show you is when we draw from one side of the wave um, it looks like the voltage across the coil actually inverts so um, I thought I found that interesting and wanted to show Smudge what was going on with this setup in case it's related to what he's looking at so um, I'm just going to start the motor up with the coil open and I'll show you what happens when we draw from one side which bogs the motor down and then we draw from the other side it speeds the motor up so it's the speed up side I wanted to show you and the uh, waveforms we're getting so once again red channel or yellow channel on the scope is across the coil and the blue channel is across our load resistor and uh, all I'm going to do is just go from one diode to the other so as we take power from uh, one side of the AC waveform and then we take power from the other side so uh, we'll switch it on very slow to start up and I can actually give that a bit of a speed up got the uh, yellow trace set on 10 volts per division um, and I'll leave it there even though we can't see it because that wave will get smaller when we start drawing current from it and I've got the trigger set on the yellow wave so I we'll need it fairly large um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to burn off the current from one half of the um, waveform and as you can see the motor bogs down and everything starts to rapidly die. So next we're going to hook up and we'll take the uh, current from the other half of the AC waveform. Um, as you can see it's fairly well offset. I do have the yellow trace dropped down one division as you can see and the blue trace of course is set at zero. So we're now going to take the power from the other half of the waveform and as you can see the motor speeds up. I've just connected, I just want you to have a look at the voltage across the coil which is our yellow trace and I'll hook it up once again. Hook it up once again.
So to me it looks like the voltage is inverting across the coil when we draw power off that side of the uh, waveform and the motor speeds up. So it's disconnected. So disconnected, draws more current, connect it up, in the shot. Put it on the other side once again. Maybe just dies. So it's interesting. So we pull off one side of the waveform um, that's being generated by the electromagnet going past our coil and it does the normal generator thing, bogs down the motor or the prime mover which in this case is this here um, but if we pull it off the other side of the waveform the motor speeds up, draws less current of course and like I said the voltage in the coil seems to invert if I'm looking at the scope correctly um, because the waves seem to uh, invert on the scope on the yellow trace, so um, I don't actually know why it is doing that. Um, a bit odd. What I have to try and work out now is um, whereabouts the section that is magnetised is on the coil, or whereabouts in what position it is relevant to the coil, and. Um, see which um, half of the waveform we're actually taking power from to speed the motor up. So we've uh, got to try and marry those two together somehow. Um, position of the coil to the stator and um, which half of the waveform we're actually taking. So um, according to the diode of course we are taking the positive or the top side of the waveform which was actually the small side on the scope so um, the lower voltage side but it seemed to have a longer duration so interesting stuff anyway so I'll put that out there and uh, let you guys smoke it over and see what you come up with cheers guys